This is Marco Wu from ePoem.com. I'm going to talk about keep and switch function in the first part of the video. Now, let me explain how to do it here. Let me set a equal to zero. If a is equal to one and I displayed yes, else I display. No. Then, and it. because a equal to zero, so we know a is not equal to one, so it will display no. Now, if a is equal to one, display a is one. L. Else, if a is equal to zero, display a is zero. Else, display eight is not zero or one, and then end. And then you see the return is a is equal to zero. Now let me set a is equal to three. If a is equal to one, display a is one. L if a is equal to zero, display a is equal to zero. Else, a is not equal to zero or one. And so now this a is not zero or one because we set a is equal to three. Now let me set a is equal to one. Switch a case one. Display k is one. Case. Two. Display. Case is two. Otherwise. Display. A is not one and two. And. Now it returns case is one. Now I said a is equal four. Switch a case one, display case is one, case two, display case is two. Otherwise, display case is not one and two. So because a is set to four, so it will display a is not one and two. If your research or engineering projects are falling behind, eeprogrammer.com can help you get them back on track without exploding your budget. Let us know what you need. You'll find relief here. Visit eeprogrammer.com. We can help you. Display counter, you will see what for k for for loop counter you to one to ten display counter.
will equal to display counter plus one. Display, display, counter, and so it will add one each time. It will start from one to ten. Now. while loop counter is equal to zero while while loop counter less than 10 while loop counter equal to while loop counter plus one And display the while loop counter. Now you can see it. It will same as the for loop counter. Now let's talk about the function. Edit my first function. Function So this output is anything you can put any names you want and then This in here need to be same as the file name And for the input name is any input names you want. So I have two input in here. Now, I create a function. The output is the input 1 times input 2. I close it. And I put the function inside the folder. I set the output name to be AAAA. The first input to be 11. The second input to be 2. So AAAA is equal to 22. 